fantastic year for Kumba. It really has been a great set of operational safety and financial results. And if you have a look at where we were at the beginning of 2009 with this massive global meltdown, uh, steel production in almost all regions reducing, uh, you know, given the context as we started the year, how we ended up and what we, the profit that we managed to put on the table, operating results, returning cash to shareholders, we've had a fantastic year. Um, yeah, we did have a really awesome year in China. China uh, has increased production by, or crude steel production by 14% in 2009, where most other regions have seen a contraction of, of uh, about 20%. And so China's had a fantastic year. China also, some of the domestic production of iron ore has reduced. So in, they've got this increase in crude steel production requiring more ore. Domestic production has reduced quite substantially. Therefore, the seaborne iron ore demand increased by 41% this year. So there was a huge demand for iron ore, and Kuma was able to take advantage of that, uh, that demand for iron ore from China, and we were able to increase volume, as you said, by 130% into China. So very, very strong markets in China, but we know that the other regions have not been so strong. Europe, Japan, your traditional markets have been struggling a little bit. Can you give us some kind of uh, uh, at least idea of how much uh, demand you are seeing uh, from, from, from those regions coming up? No, I think, Godfrey, the main driver for the increase in volume into China came from this 41% increase in demand for seaborne iron ore. Very, very strong uh, demand from China, but uh, your traditional markets, Europe, Japan, we have not seen a similar type of growth. And can you give us an idea at least of how much demand you see coming out of those regions going forward? Yeah, we certainly have started seeing some, uh, some increase in demand for iron ore from our traditional markets. Certainly Japan and Korea were the first to recover. And, uh, and we saw almost normal volumes into Japan and Korea for the second half. And then Europe themselves, as, as they start restocking raw material, and also there was, although not nearly where they used to be, production of steel, they have started increasing steel production. So we have seen more demand for iron ore back into our traditional market. And uh, in terms of the cost, very, very well contained. Not that we're in a particularly inflationary environment, but way below inflation, I think 4% unit cost down. Are you able to maintain that going forward? We had a fantastic cost year. We really did have a really super year. And the reason for that, I mean, if you take into to account, although the inflationary environment wasn't that high, we increased the amount of waste mined at Sishin Mine by 28%. So a huge increase in costs that are going into the mine. We were able to offset that by the increase in production and very, very tight cost control. And then also our efficiency uh, projects are really starting to deliver. And at the same time, we have big benefits coming from our asset optimization and our supply chain projects. Whether or not we'll be able to sustain that going forward, I think it's going to be much more difficult in 2010 as we continue to uh, increase the amount of waste that we're mining at Sishin. So we'll see approximately the same increase as we did uh, in 2009. We're going to see again in 2010, right. but we're unlikely to have the same amount of volume increase. So although we increased volume at Sishin Mine in 2009 by 16%, we'll have again another increase from the mine in 2010, but it's not likely to be as high as that. Sure. So we will see a higher cost environment at the mine, but we'll be looking to all of these efficiency and cost containment, yeah. revenue enhancement projects to offset some of the, that pressure. Absolutely, and there will be cost pressures because we know ESCOM plans to increase prices by 35% they have applied for. Most people are talking perhaps of an increase between 25 and perhaps that 35% rate. Now, what kind of a difference would that make to your business if, say, for instance, they were able to increase the uh, electricity prices by the quantum that they, that, that they have proposed to DESA? Yeah, although, um, you know, this is, these kind of numbers, 35% increase is very significant for the country. It has a lesser effect for, for Kumba. Our cost, uh, electricity, only forms 3% of the cost of Sishin Mine. And the reason for that is we are a large open cost mine where the majority of our costs are labor contractors for mining waste and for diesel. So diesel is a big, big part of our, of our cost and not so much electricity. In the statement, you talk about increasing production in 2010. Where is that increased production coming from and how much are you spending on it? Um, the increase in production in 2010 is the final ramp up of the jig plant. The jig plant also had a tremendous performance in 2009. We increased production from the jig plant year on year by 121%. So we had a fantastic ramp up. The ramp up's on track, actually ahead of, ahead of schedule. 
And so we see the final ramp up of the jig plant coming through in 2010. So we should increase production by about another 5% in 2010.